If x equals log base 10 2 and y equals log base 10 3, express in terms of x and y log base 10 root 32 over 27 and log base 10 4000 over 9. So let's start off with log base 10 root 32 over 27. The first thing that we want to do is rewrite root 32 over 27 as 32 over 27 to the power of a half. So root x is going to give us x to the power of a half. This is one of our laws of indices. So the big square root becomes to the power of a half. In our next step, we're going to bring the power, which in this case is a half, in front of the log. So we end up with a half log base 10, 32 over 27. So the power goes in front. And this is from law 3. So law 3 of logs says that log base a, x to the power of q, is going to give us q log base a, x. So what you want to do is bring the power, which in this case is a q, in front of the log. So that's how the q gets in front of log base a, x. So the power of a half, the half comes in front of the log, and we have a half log base 10, 32 over 27. You will be given these formulas in your formula tables in the Leave Insert exam. But it's important to get as familiar with them and how they work as possible. Okay, so in our next step, we are going to change the 32 divided by 27 to log base 10, 32 minus log base 10, 27. So we're using law 2 of our logs laws and that is log base a x divided by y is going to give us log base a x minus log base a y. So it is important with our dividing and subtraction rule that the numerator comes first and then the denominator comes second. It's very important. So the half just came down here and we stuck brackets around this and the log base 10 32 over 27 became log base 10 32 minus log base 10 27. So again we got that from law 2. Now we were told in the question that x is going to be equal to log base 10 2 and y is going to be equal to log base 10 3. So what we want to do is rewrite the 32 and the 27 as a base of either 2 or 3. So 32 can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 5 and 27 can be rewritten as 3 to the power of 3. And again we bring down the half and everything else stays the same. So we end up with a half multiplied by log base 10 2 to the power of 5 minus log base 10 3 to the power of 3. Next what we're going to do is bring the power which in this case is a 5 down in front of the log and bring this power, which is a 3, down in front of this log. So we're following law 3 that says log base a x to the power of q is going to give us q log base a x. So the q came down in front of the log. So the 5 came down in front of the log and the 3 came down in front of the log. So the power goes in front. This is law 3. So we still have a half multiplied by now we have 5 log base 10, 2. We still have minus. And now we have 3 log base 10, 3. So now we have log base 10, 2 and log base 10, 3. And if we go back and have a look at the question, we were told that x is equal to log base 10, 2 and y is equal to log base 10, 3. So all we have to do is swap the log base 10, 2 for an x because we got that in the question up there, and then swap the log base 10, 3 for y, because again, we got that in the question. So we still have a half multiplied by 5, and now we have x stuck on, minus 3 multiplied by y. So we end up with half bracket 5x minus 3y bracket. So we were asked to express in terms of x and y, log base 10 root 32 over 27, and we get a half times 5x minus 3y. So in terms of x and y, just means x and y is going to be 
in our answer. So now we're going to work out log base 10, 4000 divided by 9 in terms of x and y. So the first thing that we're going to do is change the divide for a minus following law 2 of logs, which says that log base a x over y is going to equal log base a x minus log base a y. So log base 10, 4000 divided by 9 is going to give us log base 10, 4000 minus log base 10, 9. So we're using law 2. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break up 4000 and change and change it to 1000 times 4. So log base 10, 4000 can be rewritten as log base 10, 1000 times 4. We still bring down the minus and then log base 10, 9, I'm going to rewrite as log base 10, 3 to the power of 2. Because remember, we want our logs to be eventually in the form of log base 10, 2 and log base 10, 3. So that's where the log base 10, 3 to the power of 2 comes from. Okay, next what we're going to do is break down log base 10 times 1000 times 4 to become log base 10, 10 cubed plus log base 10, 2 squared. So the multiplication became addition and we got that from law 1 of logs which tells us that log base a x times y is going to be equal to log base a x plus log base a y. So multiplication becomes addition when we split up these logs. So log base 10 1000 multiplied by 4 is going to change to log base 10 10 cubed plus log base 10 2 squared. So the 10 cubed came from 1,000 because 10 cubed is going to be 10 by 10 by 10, which is 1,000. And 2 squared came from 4. 2 by 2 is 4. And the minus log base 10, 3 squared just stays the same. So log base 10, 1,000 times 4, changed to log base 10, 10 cubed plus log base 10, 2 squared. So the multiplication became addition. Next, we are going to bring down each of the powers. So we see we have 10 to the power 3, 2 to the power 2, and 3 to the power 2. We're going to bring the power down in front following law 3. So law 3 says log base a x to the power q gives us q log base a x. So the q came down in front. So we're going to bring this 3 down in front of the log. We're going to bring this 2 down in front of the log. And we're going to bring this 2 down in front of the log. So log base 10, 10 cubed, gives us 3 log base 10, 10. Log base 10, 2 squared, gives us 2 log base 10, 2. And then log 10, 3 squared, is going to give us 2 log base 10, 3. And don't forget to bring down the plus and the minus. Now this highlighted part is very, very important. 3 log base 10, 10 is just going to become 3. And the reason for that is, if we take log base 10, 10 equal to x, we can use the scorpion tail method to start at the base 10, wrap our tail around the x past the equals and end up with 10. So this tells us that 10 to the power of x equals 10. So 10 to the power of x equals 10. And 10 we know is really 10 to the power of 1. Now that we have 10 to the power of x equals 10 to the power of 1, we can cancel out the bases, we can cancel out the 10s. So we're left with x is equal to 1. And if x is equal to 1, then log 10, 10 is equal to 1. And since there's a 3 stuck on to the front, it's going to be 3 multiplied by 1, and 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. So 3 log base 10, 10 is just going to give us 3. But there is a general rule that we can follow. And that is law number 4, which tells us that log base a, a will always give us 1. So if the base and the number beside it are always going to be the same. So for example, log base 20, 20. Log base 18, 18. 
log base 50 50 they're always going to end up giving us one but this is the reason why and it's important that you know why so since we had a 3 stuck on to log base 10 10 log base 10 10 becomes 1 and 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 so that's where that 3 comes from now again we were told in the question that x is equal to log base 10 2 so I'm going to bring down this 2 and swap the log base 10 2 for an x and 2 times x is just 2x I'm going to bring down the minus I'm going to bring down the 2 and then log base 10 3 I'm just going to swap for a y because I was told in my question y is equal to log base 10 3 so my final answer in terms of x and y is going to be 3 plus 2x minus 2y